guys, welcome. Kat Ray here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about first aid kits. I am creating a whole series of videos about emergency preparedness because I think being prepared in an emergency situation is very important. And part of the reason I value that so much is because of my parents and the wonderful example they were to me and to all the kids because my dad was a doctor, there was eight kids in our family. Oh man, I would never pick to have eight kids, but I value them because they did. But they were always prepared if we, if somebody got stung by a bee, if there was a cut, they had the stuff they needed for it. So let me show you the kit that I made. I bought this off of Amazon, cool little container, very good size. You can go on Amazon or other websites and you can purchase first aid kits, but I just wasn't happy with what they had in them. I built my own. So over here, I've got band-aids. Definitely probably have way more than I need, but I've got big ones, I've got small ones. I got this new skin. I think this stuff is great because it's kind of a liquid band-aid, but very wonderful stuff right here. I got some Steri strips for kind of a bigger cut. I've got Hold on, some. You're missing stuff in your kit. The most missing. important stuff in the kit. Oh. This. That, you have to put that in your kit. Oh, sweet. That That's the only do. things I could think that I would need in there. Yeah, this is your emergency yeah. preparedness. This little. Okay, I can see how that would be a very important thing to have. So. We might have to get rid of a couple things for it to fit, fit into this box, but I'm sure we can make a way to do it. But anyways, I was saying, these are all band-aids, a lot of different sizes. We got some alcohol swabs for cleaning a wound. We got like some Coflex and Ace bandage for wrapping up a wound. And then over here, I've got like NyQuil, DayQuil, Benadryl, got some cough drops. And one thing that's definitely very important to have around is a thermometer. This is a digital one. Obviously it's still brand new. This is very important because if you're dealing with somebody that is has a cold or sick, you want to know if they're running a fever. So this is definitely very important. That looks like the kind they put in babies' rears now. <laughs> it can be Doesn't used Doesn't it? Way. Yeah. It can be used because um, it's got a Loopy. flexible tip. <laughs> <laughs> we need to test it on our dog. <laughs> So that's a good way to Maybe. make sure it works is use it on our little doggy. And then there's also some antibiotic pain relief cream. There's ibuprofen and then an anti-itch cream. I will definitely be listing all this stuff in the description as to all the things that I put in this. But <clears throat> I would have to say my son about five, when he was about five years old, we were building a fire pit in our backyard and it was burning and he fell in. And man, that was quite crazy. He was, he had fallen in the fireplace. I was walking away, I heard him scream. I turned around and he's rolling, kind of like in school, they teach them to stop, drop and roll. He was rolling. And I was extremely grateful that we had our first aid kit with all the supplies because he got a nice burn on his palm. One was a lot worse than the other. And then his leg, he had this whole big wound that we um, dressed the wound there. We took him to the hospital and then we had all these supplies for dressing the wound while it was healing. And then I also work in the medical field and I see a lot, sometimes I'm surprised with people that don't have band-aids around, they don't know how to like put Neosporin on it, they don't have Benadryl around, so <clears throat> definitely all this stuff is very important to have around. Well, I hope you're happy with the first aid kit that I've created and then you'll go ahead and create one for yourself. But I wanted to show you this t-shirt that I got. I got this on a fun vacation we did over the summertime. And honestly, I'd be really surprised if you didn't know what this is, but I'd love to hear in the comments your thoughts about my t-shirt and about my first aid kit. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.